today god is telling you don't be weary don't be weary because you are worried about something have been troubled so much and god is telling you don't be weary galatians 6 uh, 9 let us not become weary in doing good for all for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up but at the proper time we will certainly you will certainly reap up the uh, the good things but um, don't give up um, and don't be weary now for doing good therefore let we have opportunities let us do good to all people especially to those who belong to the family of believers so start uh, don't give up giving doing good always do good and uh, don't be weary at a certain time as uh, we will uh, reap the harvest that is what god is telling you today how why we are getting weary that is very important when you see uh, genesis 27 46 there was a uh, uh, family fighting between the mother in law and the daughter in law rebecca was the mother in law daughter in law was the Uh, her, uh, her son's um, uh, high tight woman um, uh, so he so he, she is coming and telling uh, the husband jacob uh, isaac i don't even want to live i regret living because of this high tight woman i don't want to live that is always fighting so maybe uh, have family problem between husband wife and mother in law father mother in law and daughter in law all this fight sister in law there is some fight because of that fight we may lose the um, we may be weary and must such there are certain things that certain times certain people say only one word they say like that that word is so much tormenting me every time it is coming in front of me i am not getting mm, the peace in the mind i am always worried i am always weary because that one word they say it that's what it is said in malkia uh, 217 all who do evil are good in the eyes of the lord and he is pleased with them or where is the god of justice some people say like this where is the god of justice who will do the justice what i am doing is correct and that that they will say and he used the so painful words that will make also weary so what to do how to come out of the weary so how to come out of the weary first point is waiting on the lord is very much important to come out of the weary don't go and fight with them um, people who are making you weary but instead of that wait upon the lord isaiah 40 30 says every youth grow tired and weary and young man stumble and fall but those who hope in the lord will renew their strength they will soar on the wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary they will walk and not be faint like eagle eagle sometimes after some time what will go it it will go it will went top to the mountain it remove all the feathers and, and it be uh, feathers will grow again it it regain its strength again it started to transform its life again it started its life in the same way if we wait upon the lord we lord will tell us um, uh, what are, what is mistake in us also most of the time we find fault in others um, we say there those words what they said us very painful uh, that lady is always fighting with me family there is a fighting most of the time we find, find try to find fault on others um, if we wait upon the lord god will tell what is our mistake and will make us to um, uh, come out of the mistake um, and ask forgiveness to the god you will become again the strengthful and run the race that's what isaiah 40 30 says um, and sometimes um, the uh, god will send the people who with the appropriate word isaiah 54 says um, the sovereign lord has given me a well instructed tongue to know the word that sustain the weary so most of the time to sustain the weary god will send a certain people to you and they will say certain instructions certain advices and certain counselings to you so such a way you can come out of the weariness and jesus christ is telling another parable to be uh, preserved persevering in the faith and the prayer is needed to overcome the weariness that is there in luke chapter 18 that jesus christ told a parable there was a woman widow woman he is going and telling asking uh, the justice to a judge who is he judge is not a good good man he is a unjust judge he will give the judgment by taking money and he is always never give the good judgment but this lady woman who is widow and also poor always going and arguing and troubling that man to give to show to to give some justice to her because somebody might have taken her um, land or money some problem some injustice has happened to her so he, she want to take the justice um, uh, from that uh, judge but uh, the problem in those days is um, there is only mobile uh, um, a uh, mobile mobile place is there mobile tent will be they will put it uh, and the judge will sit inside and the people who want judgment um, uh, they will come and uh, sit there and there, there is going to be argument uh, and the judge will give them um, the judgment uh, but the, this judge is not a, a good judge um, this is a judge unjust judge uh, so wherever he changed the tent uh, and try to give the judgment to that area of the people this woman uh, this poor woman always go to that area and she, she used to shout from the outside of the tent why she out shouting from the outside of the tent is uh, in those days um, women are not allowed 
to sit in the tent to get the justice they can sit only with the wife, husband or the son now this lady has no husband and some she has to put a judge in such a way the judge will go in the tent and uh, and uh, fight the uh, um, to talk with the judge to get the judgment but here this woman is very poor she cannot keep one judge also for her side uh, to get the judgment so now this woman is always um, try to stand outside wherever this mobile court they will fix it this woman always shout uh, from standing outside give me justice give me justice give me justice that that, that was this uh, judge is telling um, even the, sometimes he refused but finally he said to himself even though i don't fear god or care what people think yet because this woman keep bothering me because how she is bothering by standing outside the tent and always shouting shouting and bothering him i will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me see coming attacking him come do the just do the just do the justice now jesus is telling um, the lord is telling listen to what the unjust judge says and uh, um, will not god bring about justice for his chosen one god is telling i am not like this unjust judge i am a righteous judge no need for somebody you have to go and search for me and come and ask the judgment wherever you pray whenever you pray god is there in front of you he is ready to give the judgment no need to cry to give the just, uh, justice because god knows our condition surely he will give the judgment and not god will bring about justice for those one who cry. try out to him day and night will he keep putting them off no this unjust just is don't want to put them lady off uh, he is telling uh, he is coming and attacking and bothering me uh, anyhow even though i am not good even though i am not fear god even though i don't think good to the people this lady is always attacking and bothering me i have to go the justice and the same god is telling i am the just the righteous judge you come to me surely i'll give the justice i tell you he will uh, he will uh, he will say that uh, they get justice and quickly but uh, god is telling i will give the justice to you and quickly to you but god is however son of man come will be find faith on the earth that's what we need jesus is telling if son of man is coming during that time god is going to give the complete judgment to the whole world for you also for every people in the world god is going to give the judgment but god is telling when judgment son of man can we will find faith on the earth so don't lose the faith and preserve perseverance in the prayer and faith is very much needed to come out of the weariness and in spite of that what we have to do look on to jesus and run our race hebrews 12 2, 2 and 3 says fixing our eyes on jesus the pioneer and perfecter of faith for the joy set before him he endured the cross come on we have to endure the cross scorching um, scorns um, uh, and sat sat down on the right hand of the throne of god consider him who endured such opposition from sinners so that you will not grow weary and lose heart consider he he endured so much of opposition from sinners you may be facing opposition from your family from your church from your workplace from your community whatever may be the opposition you are facing i don't know but jesus christ also faced the opposition from the sinners and he endures the cross and now he is sitting on the right hand the side of the lord let let us focus our eyes on jesus christ and not go weary and lose heart god bless you i will pray for you thank you lord thank you for this revelation my lord let us not go weary and go um, disorder let us look on look on to you who are sitting on the right hand side and interceding for us to the father in the name of jesus amen god bless you god will help you to come out of your weariness amen